Hey guys, today I want to show you a neat little crooked penny trick that makes use of two different game mechanics. The first of them is the fact that you can use your active item while you are holding a newly picked up item over your head. This is mainly useful for the void item, as it allows you to check blind items and still be able to absorb them in time. It also allows you to absorb items in the shop, which are usually unaffected by the void. Just buy the item and then void it while you are holding it over your head. The second game mechanic that is important for the crook penny trick I am about to show you revolves around multiple choice items that despawn when you pick one of them. Did you know that the not picked items don't instantly vanish? There is a very brief delay of just 4 frames where the item is technically still there. This is the reason why the double take trick in co-op or with Jacob and Esau doesn't have to be crazy precise. And of course, it is also the reason why the bomb cancel trick that I showed you is possible in the first place. But now it is time to come to the actual point of the video, Crooked Penny. As you know, it grants a 50-50 chance to either duplicate or delete all the items in the current room. Doing this on a multiple choice situation like the alt path item rooms will allow you to get all the copies without the other ones despawning, if you are lucky. The item can create huge value, but you can also just lose everything if you are too greedy. It is just a very risky, all or nothing gamble. But what if I told you there is a way to lower the risk? You can walk into the one item that you want the most and then instantly use the crooked penny within 4 frames. Doing this will guarantee getting that one item, but you still have the 50-50 chance to duplicate all the other items right before they despawn. This is especially valuable in angel rooms. There are often situations where you wouldn't risk losing a really strong item for a chance of two additional weaker ones. You can obviously also just lose the 50-50, but in this case you still have that one item that you picked up before using the crooked penny. You can also use this trick for a 50-50 chance to get the polaroid and negative at the same time. You would usually never consider trying the penny here. There are tons of situations where this trick can give you additional value without taking a huge risk. Would you risk losing your boss rush on a 50% chance? You can actually also use a similar trick on the room clear rewards generated by the options item. You can duplicate both pickups while grabbing one of them. The timing here is slightly different. You have to use the penny just before you touch the pickup. But the difference here is that you actually get it while also copying it. This is obviously less valuable than creating items out of nowhere, but I thought it would make sense to show you anyway in case you run into this situation. I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, consider to drop a like and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. And I look forward to see you in the next video. He's the number one Isaac! God's favorite son flowing rose reach down from